What's going on everyone? Welcome back to more Tom Clancy's The Division. We are still kicking ass. We are still taking back New York. On this fine sunny day here in Australia. <laughs> anyway, so I've... I loot... I ran around and looted a few this bosses around the map and I've updated my gear a little bit <clears throat> I haven't still haven't done any missions or anything yet because I want to keep showing you guys those so I've just like got a better pair of knees a better backpack I found some better gloves have a p416 and I have the M1A rifle and we're still currently at level 6 and I've also equipped after finishing the subway morgue mission I equipped the, the assault turret so we got a bit of extra firepower to back us up so anyway and where we're headed next is the the Hudson refugee camp So they're about to kill literally, literally everyone in the refugee camp. No fear, that mob, the cleaners, they don't give a fuck about anyone. Alright, so we're geared up, got a turret for secondary support. Alright, let's get over there and do it. Need you to secure the Hudson Rail Yards area. The yards have become a tent city for the destitute and desperate. The people forced out of every place else end up here. What we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived the dollar flu for Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. Warning. Now leaving the safe area. Alright, let's go. So I forgot to show you, like... Um, there's no real order you do these missions in, give or take, but basically, like, that one's level 7, where we're going now, Broadway Emporium's level 8, so forth and so forth. The next mission... Time Square Power Relay is level 12. We're not geared enough to get further up the map here. Amherst Apartment, level 14. So basically I'm doing these missions as I progress in gear or levels, I guess, if you want to call it that. So I'm level 6 and we're heading to a level 7, which is ballpark of where my gear's at. Anything higher than that, I'll probably just get one tapped by the enemies. And we don't want that. It will be a fucking nightmare. Don't be taking unnecessary risks. But the, the fastest way to probably level up is just complete um, all the missions and then concentrate on your side missions. That's how I did it the first time I ever played this game. So here we go, the mission's here. 
You finish all the missions, get geared, and then you concentrate on the side missions and trying to unlock the safe houses as you go as well. All right, let's go. It's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation, which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. This is a good fun mission in global events at the end game. Oh no! He's dead, nice. this section let's keep pushing forward watch out for the barrels the recoil in this game is absolutely crazy need those stability mods get lit on fire so I'll push back a little bit come on bro nice headshot let's go they tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner that's what it looks like and it fits the cleaner mo if you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus where would you go Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they... Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents. You think they're running? Let's get out of here. Those guys, I've seen it. I'm just looking for loot in this mission so far. I should have known that was there, really. <laughs> These bombs are everywhere, so just be careful. Warning. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're going to try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So keep them extra alive, I guess. You know <coughs> this is a good fun mission if you now. ever make a tactician Candle build. Out. Just run, throw seeker mines, keep running. If you got a good build on at the end game with this mission, you can get through it pretty, pretty quickly. Push your head up, bro. Nice. Headshot to the win. Let's go. If you ever get caught near those things, just do what I just did. Just run past and jump. It's the easiest way. 
and I'll land this grenade. Alright, level 7, let's go. Alright, cool. Signature of explosives detected. Watch out, people. Confirmed. Your savior is here. All right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're going to kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank move somewhere safe. Water, I'll take that. Water's good as well in this game. Water is your friend when you start getting those gold enemies. Engineers are the ones with the turrets. You've got to be careful that barrel. That is not fun, those things. Nice, he's dead. Alright, let's go. There's a dude on the left there somewhere. I'll take your shitty grey knee pads. Nope, that's a good guys. My bad. Can't... What do you mean I can't go for cover there? Can't shoot through the forklift, of course. Face tank. This is supposed to be a, a cover based shooter, but the better gear you get, you can face tank a lot more enemies. But it is a lot safer just to like sit in cover and let the enemies come to you. But the longer you sit in cover, the more the grenadiers are going to pinpoint your position and just like start spamming grenades. So you're better off to keep cover to cover. So yeah, I'll take these guys out. That should kill that guy there. Dude coming upstairs or what? Nice, he's dead. These dudes are going to start charging in a minute. Situation down. I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move. Alright, we're doing alright. Samples from as many refugees as they can find. There's enemies Medical everywhere here. Yeah. A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Sorry that out there, that can protect our ass. Themselves. Yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, agent. 
Come on, turret, do your job. This is Dr. Candle, sampling team. Can you hear me? Patel here. Go ahead, Doctor. Oh, Lieutenant, good. I need you guys to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Alright, cool. Age, gender. Alright, we're doing alright. Ethnicity, general state of health on a 10 point scale, then label and group the samples according to. Excuse me. Can't even move off that. But maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the office. Why can't I move in that cover? I'm stuck on these, this thing here. Agent. That's alright. Just focusing all right. on the task at hand. Lieutenant, we'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll get it all worked out. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species right. we're talking about. Copy that, Doc. Patel, out. If you, when you play this mission on challenging, you get three bosses. So that's why during a global event, and it's Hudson Refugee Camp, one of the missions pop up. That's why everyone runs this mission. Three bosses means three, hopefully three half decent loot drops. So I'm going to jump down here. And I'm going to run up here and sit up here at the top of the stairs. You know the situation, it's too late for these people here. They're dead, every one of them. But it's not too late for us. If we do what we gotta do, it might not be too late for the rest of the country. So go to work. Lates. I need to pop that elite's enemies. I'm sorry, elite enemies. Alright, so I'm gonna pop a water for 20% damage to elites. Because the yellow bar enemies are elites. Melted, nice. Twenty percent damage to elites. Nice. Nearly took his armor. Oh, I nearly got him. Nice, he's dead. Where's that other dude at? Oh no, it was just his turret. Alright, so I've killed the boss. I'm going this way. Let's see what he dropped for us. Anything exciting? Take the mask. It looks like the mask looks better than the one we've got. Oop, gone the wrong way. Agents, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Alright, let's drop the tank, shall we? Listen up. 
Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can all right. Finish that mission. We saved all the refugees in the camp. We've blown up a whole heap of shit. We got blown up ourselves. There's a phone recording there, but I don't need it. All the intel that you find, you don't... It won't make a difference to your XP or anything like that. It won't make a hell of a difference, but it will add to it a little bit. But it's not. Hey, the comparative data you secured from the train yard. I mean... Those right. refugees, of course. It gave us something to think about. There's another report in the database for you to look at. All right, let's look at this evidence. One of the things that makes a virus lethal is adaptation. Rapid mutation makes it harder for antibodies to identify and drugs to kill. What we're seeing in the samples you pulled from the population at the train yard is the degree of genetic drift green poison is already experiencing, and it's significant, which means mm. it'll be that much harder to find a vaccine. All right, watch video. This is going to be mental if it's got to do with the cleaners. Ah, I've already watched that. All right, cool. One of the things that makes a virus lethal is... All right, so I finished Hudson Refugee Camp. All right, did we get anything good out of that? Ooh. So... Level 7, I might have to put that on. Level 6. So we'll go to level 7 and boost our firearms. So that's what we want. Our toughness goes down a, quite a bit, but it's level 7. That's where we're at, so we want that. Knees. Knees are fine. The ACOG scope with accuracy. No, don't want that. Trash. SVD. No, we don't need an SVD. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hudson Refugee Camp. We got there in the end. Through blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.